America's migrant crime crisis spiraling out of control, and the White House is threatening to throw grease on the fire. The U.S. Marshals arresting 15-year-old Jesus Alejandro Rivas Figueroa. You're welcome. After he opened fire at police last night and shot a tourist in Times Square. The Venezuelan migrant and two others were confronted while shoplifting when Jesus pulled out his piece and started blasting willy-nilly. Now, Jesus may be young, but this isn't his first rodeo. He's wanted for two other gun-related charges here in New York, including armed robbery just last week. I'm sure Jesus told whoever sent him to New York that he had no criminal record and would be on his best behavior. The wild shootout comes after a different group of migrants pummeled two NYPD officers and then fled to Arizona. These are the people Joe Biden's ushering into our country. Biden's just blasting a fire hose of migrants into America at a record clip. Look at this. This is the last hundred years of border crossers. As you can see, what Joe Biden has done to this country is unlike anything that's ever happened. It's an absolute explosion of illegal immigration that shows no signs of stopping unless he's defeated. But you haven't seen anything yet. If Biden doesn't get his sweetheart border deal pushed through Congress, the White House says they'll drop a migrant bomb on the whole country and cut ICE deportations even further. Watch. Because congressional Republicans are choosing partisan politics over our national security and refusing to pass the bipartisan national security agreement that includes significant border reforms and funding over the coming weeks, ICE will be forced to reduce operations because of budget shortfalls. Pass our bill or we'll let even more migrants into the country? That only sounds good to AOC. Now, while Jerry Nadler wants migrants to pick his crops, AOC wants them to take care of your grandparents. We do not talk about the enormous blessing, economic blessing that immigrants and immigration represents to the United States of America. We currently do not have the economic or social structural capacity to take care of our seniors, and we will increasingly not have that yep. if we, quote unquote, lock up our border and shut down, shut down immigration. AOC wants illegal border crossers to be given full amnesty so they can spoon fiend grandpa soup while he watches yours truly. She says illegal aliens are givers, not takers, and she's right, giving us the middle finger and debt. We don't have anything against immigrants. We have a problem with illegal immigrants. There's only so much money to go around. We've got poor, impoverished, starving people who were born and raised in this nation. How in the hell do we come up with a $52, $53 million pilot pro program for illegals, but folks who are here legally are born here, we don't have enough of them? That's why Trump is on the verge of getting elected. Stephen A is America first, thanks to Biden. So who's Biden going to replace Stephen A with? We found him. Y si podría votar, ¿quién votaría? Por supuesto que por Biden. Por supuesto que por... Si tiene el privilegio para votar, ¿para quién se va a votar? Don Biden, que nos está ayudando a nosotros pues sí. aquí. Yo creo que la mayoría Biden. 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 Él es el que nos está ayudando por Biden. Biden. Nick Shirley has been on the ground talking to these migrants as they come into the country, and he joins us now. So, Nick, do they understand they're not really legally allowed to vote? I don't know. I think they're all pretty excited to... Be supporting Joe. Do you have anybody that ever tells you, yeah, 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 Donald Trump? Never. <laughs> Never. Never. And you've talked to a lot of migrants? Talked to hundreds of migrants, and they all love Sleepy Joe. They all love Joe Biden. Do they ever say anything about Kamala? <laughs> I don't even think they know she exists. Okay. Neither do Americans. What is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you? You've been traveling around with these migrants for quite some time. <sighs> weirdest thing that happened? One time I, I let some ex-cartel members into the car to... Give us more insight about migrants, and they turn out to be ex-cartel members. What'd they do? They took us to where they smuggle in the migrants. Wow. What'd they show you? Um, exactly how they bring them through into America. And how much does it cost to get into this country? Each person's paying around five to ten thousand dollars to get Five to ten thousand yeah. dollars. So the cartels are just swimming in cash. Yeah, they're making lots of money. Okay, so the only wages that have increased are cartel wages. The American wages, they're down by inflation. 
Do you ever feel like sympathy for these migrants? Many of them are coming here, really horrible circumstances. None of them are really fleeing because they fear anything. They're here to work. How does that make you feel? You know, a lot of the migrants, they are good people and they come through with good intentions. However, if you let in 8 million people in over the course of three years, a lot of bad people are going to come in as well. Bad hombres. Mm -hmm. Like the guy that's licking off shots right near our headquarters. You know, I, I'm not going to say I almost got shot. I'm going to sound like Joe Biden. But when I left the building the other day, they had police tape all outside. This is crazy. Yeah, it's getting really bad, and, and, and it, there's no signs of it slowing down. All right. Well, thank you very much. Tell them when they get to this country, watch Jesse Waters' primetime. Will do. Thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.